Hi there. So we are looking at something different that I haven't put in. This is the first one. So if you see here behind me, we've got our normal, you know, MPPTs and this little doodad right here, multi two. I just wanted to touch on, you know, how much different it is to install. It's actually, I think it's a game changer for people who only want a single inverter in their RV. You can do two, but uh, the wiring is, is a little more complicated on the AC side of things. Um, DC side is just the same. Um, but you have your um, two legs, 50 amp service coming in, 50 amp two legs going out, going to the breaker box uh, inside the RV. And um, pretty straightforward. Uh, there, you don't really have to do anything special to it. Uh, I would suggest having, if you're going to do it on your own, having an MK3 to be able to program it um, on your own using the free Victron software just to make sure everything's programmed correctly the way that you want it. Um, but it operates the same. Um, slight differences. It's only five and a half, uh, almost six inches deep and uh, about the same width, but it's 20, 22, 23 inches long, which is... Uh, kind of a game changer as far as being different but it it does change things a lot because the the multi one is like eight and a half inches deep and so if you're trying to you know do a nice pretty wall and have everything kind of the same depth then you know it is a little more challenging because you have to recess the multi you know so much deeper in um, but um, I really like it um, it's going to be fantastic for people uh, whenever you're off of shore power and it's inverting it does couple leg one and two to provide 3,000 watts uh, onto the whole rig you do have to practice power management 3,000 watts is not shore power uh, it's based on your solar and your storage capacity but um, I really do like it this particular one ties into a GX model uh, GX uh, servo with the touch 50 and um at this time we did notice one quirky thing the ac input it did not show um any watts but it did show the load side after the inverter um, if you go into the menu and look at the multi plus it shows you only one leg on the multi plus so i don't know if there will be an update that they're going to add or if that is um that's how it's going to work. So um, just a little quirky thing that uh, I came across. Other than that, I, have, I mean, it's been really smooth, really easy to do. Um, the, the connections inside it are kind of a push in instead of a screw terminal, which that was a little different, uh, especially working with 6.3 uh, wire. It, it actually was pretty darn difficult um, to, to get it all up under there and to get it to stay under there. Um, don't really like those connectors i would prefer something that's under a screw terminal that you can tighten down and have a certain torque load on it but uh, other than that um i actually really did like the multi-2 it, it's it's definitely a thumbs up for me uh for a single inverter 50 amp uh upfit so hope you enjoyed the you know the short you know what's my take on it thumbs up definitely this is a, a grand design solitude 3740 bh this system is comprised of, for this video, it has 12 uh, Renogy 100 watt Eclipse panels on the roof, totaling 1200 watts. I did wire for three additional, being 1500 watts total, uh, because uh, after physically seeing the rig and laying things out, uh, I did determine that he could get three more panels up there uh, of the 100 watt size. Um, and then he also has four 330 watt REC Reck and Peak panels. Um, so total, he'll have 2820, 2820 watts in solar coming into two 150 100 Victron MPPTs. He's, uh, he had purchased a solar breaker. Um, I went ahead and used that. Um, he was going to originally do the system himself, uh, but he ended up um, having me install everything um, and then the multi plus two and then we also have a servo GX and the touch 50 
um, as well as this has a residential fridge option that has the Magnum 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter uh, in the front bay on the roof. I did leave that um, intact on um, the refrigerator circuit and the, that whole slide, the entertainment uh, stuff is also on that inverter. So, um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> It has uh, six 100 amp battle blown batteries and uh, the client had a, uh, initially already installed two easy starts, one on each AC unit. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that dingy bell ringy thingy so that you're notified whenever we receive new videos as long as you've hit the subscribe button as well. <laughs> thanks for watching. on you know where you're going to put it sorry there's flies and stuff but um you'll have your day it ain't today um yep they want to be in the video too yeah they, they've been nothing until right now so um